Hello. How's it going? Okay. So here's the thing. There we go. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> Sorry, I just needed a little open back there. Oh, that's better. Oh, yes. I had to bring the hat back. I barely wore it yesterday because I got so warm. But it's very chilly today. So, the hat. It returns. I spent money on it. I'm going to fucking wear it. You guys can bet I'm going to fucking wear it. But yes, hello. I, I feel like I need to go out fishing while I wear this. It just feels like a fishing hat. <laughs> but yes. Hi, everyone. How are you doing today? Um, I hope you don't feel threatened by this. He's, he's just there. He's not gonna come to get you. The whole outfit is a vibe? Thank you. I am... You know, I'm in my element now. It's fall. Man, okay. Whew. There we go. My little sneeze. Oh, <laughs> my nose is so red now. Um, I did have wheat with dinner. We got some nice bread, some nice French bread to go with our soup. Um, it was really good. It was really tasty, and I made pumpkin bread. Let me show you. Oh man, my phone's in the other room. Give me a sec. I was charging it. God. But we made really, really tasty pumpkin bread as well. And it's gluten free. It's very tasty. I'm going to post it in the. I'm going to post it in, in Discord. Because it's really tasty and it looks very nice for gluten-free, egg-free. Actually, it's gluten-free and vegan. There's no butter in it. So, let me post it in Discord. Broad. But yes. Yes, Big Island Mike. Big Island vibes. Um, oh man. I forgot to turn my Wi-Fi back on, so I've just been on data. Been on data. Can you believe? Okay, but yes. Um, we have Stay Tuned for Danger, and I have it working. It's actually working, guys. I'm very excited. Um, okay, it finally loaded into Discord, by the way. Um... But <laughs> what can I take you today, miss? Exactly. And then, you know, some racist voices as well. Whew. Whew. Glad I remember that now <laughs> before getting into it. Reminder, everyone, it's an incredibly racist voice. But yeah, just as a reminder, sprinkle that in there. And no, I'm not talking about the other other game. You guys want to hear my song? I wrote a song, and I'm like trying to record it and everything, and it's just not working out how I want it to. So I'm like, oh, I see. It's actually incredibly terrible. But, um, yes, we want to hear this. Okay, good. Please understand, though, that I am stoned already. Also, I have to take my finger, uh, my splints off of my right hand. 
while I'm playing the ukulele. So out of two. So that's my song. <laughs> Big mood song. Yeah, I'm sorry, but yeah. <laughs> Sucks. However, you know it doesn't suck. I don't have hype emotes, so imagine a Kermit yay. <laughs> Thank you for understanding, Veronica, exactly, exactly where I'm going with that. So, we played the first game in the series, kind of. We played Remastered. Um, and Twitch ate the VOD. It just doesn't exist anymore. So, if you are watching this on YouTube right now, um... I'm sorry, there is no evidence that we did play the first game in the series. Um, but we're moving on because I'm not going to replay that game because I don't like it. So, <laughs> I just don't really like Secrets Can Kill. Um, especially not Secrets Can Kill Remastered. So I'm not going to play it again just for YouTube. And I apologize, YouTube. I really do. But we're going to move on instead. Just stay tuned for danger. I don't have my notebook. I 
handy dandy notebook. And there's my pen. It fell. Secrets can kill, never heard of it. Indeed. Look at my. If you guys want a sticker like this, you can find it on our Etsy. And you can find this kind of notebook on our Redbubble. Um, it says it's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. Oh, I'm sorry. I still haven't sent you a second one. I'm sorry. I'll do it. Remind me tomorrow. Remind me. Okay. Let's do it. I'm starting my page now. It says S T F E Junior. That way I can remember. Let's do it, guys. There we are. Perfect. Um, I'm just gonna trim this. The hat, thank you. Um, I'm not gonna play it on the hardest. <laughs> Yes. Here, let's. Right, I forgot. You're celebrating your 70th birthday next month? Oh, <laughs> you are so sassy. But that's what I love about you. Sassy. Right, I forgot. You're celebrating your 70th birthday next month? <laughs> For some reason, I have double cursor. Um. There is something difficult, different on the difficulties. It's the very last puzzle, and I am already terrible at that kind of puzzle because I have no memory. Um, so we're not going to do it on that. Um, why do I have two cursors? That's the question. DXWND. Why do I have two cursors? Options. Automatic. Oh, I'm sorry. I can I can turn the game down. We're gonna try this real quick. Ah, good. There we go. There we are. Okay, we're ready. Tell me about the volume. Dear Bess, you'll never guess who I'm visiting in New York. Maddie Jensen, your favorite soap star from Light of Our Love. Maddie is renting Aunt Eloise's apartment in New York. And after hearing about my last case, she secrets has such can a kill, different voice. Maddie called to invite me up here. According to Maddie, Rick. Sorry, I'm going to turn it a bit. Arlen is getting death threats, but he won't go to the police. So she wants me to do some investigation work. Some can investigation you anyone work. Anyone not liking Rick Arlen, daytime's cutest hunk? I yeah. have a sneaking suspicion, it's though, terrible. that there's more to this case than meets the eye. Call you later, Nancy. Come on in, Nancy. The door's open. Oh, right. Oh, right. Okay. While you were out, Ned called. He asked me to tell you to call him the first chance you get. By the way, he sounds cute. Okay, I guess I'll call him. Guess who? Nancy! First you leave me to visit your aunt in Florida, and now you're in New York. <gasps> By the time you get back to River Heights, I'll be an old man. Uh, okay. 
That's okay. I'll still love you. Even if I'm bald and wearing dentures? Of course, Ned. Even if you're toothless and hairless. You're so sweet. Strange, but sweet. So, Hannah told me about the investigation you're working on. Sounds neat, but kind of dangerous. Anything I can help you out with? Well, I'm getting along so far. Okay, I'll Ned let you get too that. That is too genre savvy. Be careful. Nancy, don't be weird. See? They say I love you, like, all the time. I don't understand. But. That's fine. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, lordy. Oh. These are... Well done. Yes. Yes. Well done. Okay, I just want to do a full circle. We're moving on. Hi, Maddie. Welcome to New York, Nancy. I'm really glad you could come out here on oh such short notice. Oh my god, her notice. face is terrifying. Um... It's always nice to come back to the Big Apple, and now I get to stay with a famous soap opera star. It must be exciting work. Believe me, it's not all that exciting. With 5 a.m. shoots, a million lines to learn, people all uptight and yelling, and now Rick's getting these death threats. Oh, it's not all that exciting? That's all very exciting. I mean, you don't, you're probably meaning it in like a, oh, it's not all like, good exciting but that's still exciting sorry i'm gonna turn myself down because i see i'm peeking quite a bit clipping i apologize i don't want to hurt your eardrums tell me about the death tell me threats. about the death threats well for the past month my co-star rick arlen has been getting these awful death threats First, we all shrugged it off. You get the I can't believe, like, death messages. threats is what's going on I in this game. Later games, weird. it's... It's, like, nothing compared to this. Getting weird. Weird? They're totally bizarre. Not only did he get letters, but somebody sent him a box of poisoned chocolates, a broken watch, and then there's that whole thing with the teleprompter. Um, okay. What happened with the so teleprompter? What happened with the teleprompter? Well, I was reading the teleprompter during a scene with Rick. All of a sudden, my lines read, You're going to die a horrible death, Rick. At the time, we all thought it was some sick joke, but nobody admitted to doing it. Hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, now tell me about the letters, okay? Tell me about the letters. Well, the first ones had the letters cut out of magazines, you know, like on a ransom note. They were all signed by someone named B.T. Kaiser. Somehow the news leaked out and the press totally jumped on them. Then they started getting ugly and twisted. Okay. Someone sent him poison chocolates? Rick's a major chocoholic. His fans and friends are always sending him boxes of candy. But these chocolates were so nasty, Rick spit them out. <laughs> I've never seen Rick say no to chocolate before. Did Rick go to the police? I'm not going to go there. No, and that's the problem. No one is taking any of this seriously. Especially Rick. He thinks nothing will ever hurt him. Nancy, I'm running late. I need white to get men, to the studio. Right? Hey, why don't you come over and visit? I'll leave a visitor's pass for you at the security desk. Oh, before I forget, here's a copy of the house keys. I'm always losing my keys, so I've got plenty of copies. Okay. I'll write the studio's address sure. on your map. Just catch hey, a taxi on cab my outside map. and show them the map. <laughs> They'll know how to get there. Oh, man. I'm just starting from... Oh, yep. Oh, boy. Oh. Mm. 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 Whew. <sighs> oh, lordy. Oh, man. Can't get better than that. Okay. Okay. Consider, consider this hat. 
but these faces. This hat, these faces. Her interactive, call me. Oh, <laughs> close. The last days for Roy Rory Danner. Rumors are rampant that Rick Arland, love of light of our loves, Rory Danner, is breaking his contract with worldwide broadcasting and is setting his sights on a career in film. While his agency has no comment, our sources tell Chatter that Rory's evil twin, Yuri, may return next season to kill Rory off. This news has sent shockwaves throughout WWB's management, especially after Rick and his co-star, Maddie Jensen, Serena Livingstone, both picked up Eddie's for best couple in daytime soap last year. I'm working with an excellent cast and crew on Light of Our Love, Arlen told Chatter after winning his award. It's a pleasure to work with Maddie and Bill and Janie. They're a great team. Obviously not great enough to keep Rick on board. Take it from an old hat in the industry, Rick. Hollywood is a totally different playing field from New York. Did you guys like my, uh, <laughs> my announcer voice there? You will... Oh, this is kind of... It's kind of creepy. You have to admit, right? Oh, right, I have to, like... Yoink. Will Celeste ever forgive Alex? What to expect from TV's hottest couple? A long road to fame. Actress Maddie Jensen says her recent success in daytime drama is a result of hard work and a little help from home. Oh, I can't read that. It's too, it's too small. Okay. Most people have the impression that it's easy to become a famous actor and all you need is a nice smile and a bus ticket bound from New York or LA says Jensen in December issue of Modern Actors. Jensen, who stars as Serena Livingstone on World Worldwide's Light of Our Love, also tells the magazine about the pressures of acting at an early age. My mother was the typical stage mom, pushing me harder and harder to get the lead. I used to think acting was just a big competition, but now I realize it truly is a vocation, something you have to dedicate your life to. How has this new outlook changed her relationship with her mother? We're best friends, the actress admits. Without my mom, I never have had the opportunity to start in this business. Ooh. Maddie, you're a little far gone. Again, I cannot read that. Matty, I'm writing this letter because you never call me. You can't be that busy not to phone your poor mother, can you? I saw your photo in a uh, soap opera journal at the Star. Uh, you'd think that my own daughter would at least send me a copy. I was devastated to see that you that your picture is so much smaller than Rick's. What makes him more important than you? Darling, you must remember that you are the real star of that show. And it's a, about time we we show the world that you are number one. I will not allow you to ever play second fiddle to that man. Without you, without your talent, he'd be nothing. Remember that. And remember the person who paid for all your acting lessons for all those years. I love this. Oh, we are rocking the, is that the, the Big Island Vibes bucket hat? Yes, yes it is. Um, <laughs> I never really noticed that they're actually kind of setting up her mother as a suspect as well. I love that. I wish that that had been more developed. Twenty-third annual daytime soap opera gala. Put 
that back where it is, because I do not care. Yes, of course. Rick, there is so much I want to tell you and confiding in you, but I don't know, I'm, I, I am afraid of where this would lead. I am truly in love with you, but how can I be sure that you feel the same way? I think we both know the answer, but I think you refuse to admit it. You refuse to admit that you are truly in love with me. And I think that makes you afraid, afraid of the commitment this would mean. Why must you continue playing the part of the confirmed bachelor, constantly looking for another date? We both know you're not happy with with this part, but you still play it. You still play the incurable, sarcastic, when all you really want is a lifetime of love. I am ready for this commitment. I'm a little strong there, honey. Locked. Mm, mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm Terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. That's fine. What's she looking at? Rory finds himself alone in Serena's townhouse. Among some books and magazine magazines, Rory picks up a diary on a coffee table. Serena enters. Oh! Rory, you scared me. What are you doing here? I was hoping to find you here. I've been making myself at home, love. I see you found my personal diary. Well, yeah. You left it out on the table for all the world to see. What was I supposed to do? Well, you could have shown a little respect for my privacy and left it alone. You know me better than that. Your business is my business, babe. The parentheticals are killing me. Way overkill. Don't exist. I need something to make this work. I need something to make this work. Shh, Nancy. Shh. Get Nancy. Okay, that's all that's here. There's also these terrifying pictures. You know, just a picture of yourself, just, just yourself. Everyone has that in their house, right? Okay. I think that's everything in here. What is the moment? Taxi! Where can I take you today, miss? Where can I take you today, please. miss? Well, I'm gonna look around. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Yes. 100%. Ah! Interesting. Seems as though someone here. Oh, that's an important clue. <laughs> Can I help you? Can I help you? Yes, Maddie Jensen left a visitor's pass for me. It should be listed under Nancy Drew. Here you are. You'll need to sign for it. You need to come to this desk every time you enter so I can log you in. Okie dokie. Just making sure I'm not missing Have a nice anything. day. On air. 
So we'll go this way. I don't care who he is. No one breaks a contract with Bill Pappas. I'll kill him before he runs out on me. Wow, they're really like planting all of the It's open. Hey Nancy, glad you could make it. We'll be shooting soon, so I only have a couple of minutes to chat. Can you tell me more about Rick? Hmm, where should I start? Hello! Well, I've known Rick since I started Nancy. acting. Well, after I got my big break with the touring production of Romeo and Juliet. We, we both played the lead. I guess Stay it gave tuned. us good practice for, for the parts danger. of Romeo and Serena. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm totally listening to you, Maddie. I have 100% understood everything you just told me. 100%. Can you tell me why someone would want to send these threats to Rick? He's talented, handsome, and rich. Some people totally. would hate him just for that. <laughs> yeah. But Rick wouldn't hurt a fly. I have no idea why someone's trying to scare him with these threats. Oh. So how long have you been a couple? You mean off screen or on screen? You see, Rick and I dated when we were with the touring company for Romeo and Juliet. Oh, I see. Do you think an old flame of yours could be motivated by jealousy to do this to Rick? Actually, Rick and I are no longer dating. It is, it is but going. But come to think of it, I do know someone who could be jealous enough of Rick to do something like this. Yuri Danner, Rick's twin brother. I'm sorry, Nancy. It's been a running joke around here. You see, Rick's character has an evil twin, Yuri, and everyone's been saying that it's him who's causing all this trouble. But seriously, I have no idea who could be behind this. But seriously, oh, look at the time. you're I've making light of this. Makeup. Hey, why don't you come down to the set in a few minutes? I'll be shooting a scene with Rick. In the meantime, make yourself at home. She is terrifying. I will make myself at home. And I will steal your shit, if at all possible. Damn. Okay, well, we see lipstick. That has been used for drawing. I wonder if that will be. Hmm. Ma'am, um, if you leave your lipsticks out like this, they are going to be so dry. Yeah, I don't. I, like, my beloved. Tunes. A symbol of our. of my love for you. Um, you are. I'm going to assume that's Angel. I don't know. Sent from the heavens. to encourage me? to give me courage. Um, I love you. And, and, and uh, hug you really strongly? Ah! Uh -huh. She's 30 shades of lipstick at the ready at all times. You're so right. Um, that was my, me trying to understand French for you guys. So. I hope it was at least kind of correct. Cognates, you know. Ireland's possible departure leads to raiding que ratings questions. Three clowns injured. Elephants trample peanut vendor. Like such a smug prick. WWB down after rumor of love of our light of our love cast changes. Will the decline continue? Embezzler escapes to Rio de Janeiro. Hope the peanut vendor is okay. I'm so, I agree.
camera picks up Yuri Danner as he walks through the living room doors and enters the front hallway. He greets Serena Livingstone. Well, good evening. I never expected you to darken my door. I want to talk to you about Rory. I know. You know what? You know that yellow belly, poor excuse of a man doesn't deserve your love, Serena? Is that what you know? I... I don't know. Of course you don't. But don't worry your pretty little head about Rory. He'll get what he deserves, and I can tell you, my love, it isn't Serena Livingstone. What do you mean? I love Rory, and I despise you. You used me to seek revenge on your brother, your own flesh and blood, and now you want to drag me down to your level? But I won't do that. I have more strength than you think. Ah, uh, Serena, always playing the femme fatale. Do you really think- Don't patronize me, Yuri. I'm no longer in your power. I'm free from your evil spell. Oh, I don't get- I don't get more. Oh, I get to- Camera close-up of Serena Livingstone. Music, fade up. Camera, fade out. I, I have a confession to make. What is it, darling? I love you more. Oh, Roman. The couple dance for a while longer, gazing into each other's eyes. Roman looks around the dance floor and notices Serena Livingstone. She's wearing a full-length red gown. L Libinka notice Roman's, notices Roman's gaze and frowns. Roman breaks from the dance. Oh, look, Serena is going to sing. Roman starts to clap as Serena walks up to the stage, walks up to the microphone. Thank you. Thank you for that warm welcome. I'm so very happy to be back in Jackson's Wharf and would like to share with you a very special song. Can I not look at the bottom part of this page? Band starts to play. I should care. I don't know who any of these people- Hmm, so will you play Eve and tempt me with forbidden fruit? Let's just say that I might. What the fuck? Oh, right. I'm supposed to look in the couch cushions. That's what it's telling me. Don't hate me, I just wanted to be a winner for once in my life. Serena's just watching them? How interesting. How weird. Well, now we have Rook's cell phone number. I don't really want to use it, so I'm gonna write it down. We're just gonna open her mail. Dear Maddie, I'm writing to tell you what a big fan I am of the show. Serena Livingston is my favorite character on Light of Our Love, and I haven't missed a single show since I started watching it last year. Even my mom watches the show, and she hardly watches television. Recently, I read an interesting article about your career in the Manhattan TV Guide. I was wondering what you meant when you said, I used to think that acting was a big competition. In what way was being an actress competitive to you? I'm asking because you have always seemed so sweet on all the TV talk shows that you've been on. And it's so hard to imagine you being one of those competitive soap actors who only want to get ahead and be number one lead all the time. I know how busy you are, uh, but I hope you can write back to your biggest to one of your biggest fans i look forward to nope oh i don't get to read the bottom bit wow what is the point of being able to read that one Time to look at the sink. 
love to look at sinks. Take a drink if you're playing the drinking game. Look at sink for no reason. That's a drink. <gasps> look at sink. That's a drink. <laughs> Aha! Very important. Going through someone's medicine cabinet. Darn. Nothing in here. Ugh. I, I can't look in her purse. I can look everywhere else, but her purse is off limits. Oh, look. Time to open someone else's mail. Mmm. Let's do this. Darn. Nope, I did it again. I guess I'm supposed to go. It's open! Oh, thank you. Hello there. Oh, are you a visitor? According to the policy's memo dated July 14th, 1954, no one is permitted in the prop room, except for those people permitted in the prop room. You may Indeed. want to talk to the director, Lillian Weiss, if you want to become permitted. She likes to do all of the hiring around here. Good day, my dear. Well, I'm all turned around. I need something to make this work. Places, everyone. I remembered this time. In? Yes, Miss Weiss, we're clear to shoot. Have we blocked this already? Yes, I think. Quiet on the set. Yes. <laughs> Is the floor ready? Check. Audio. Uh, check. Roll tape. Stand by camera one. Stand by music. Take camera one. Rory, I have to talk to you. I don't want to see you, Serena. No, Rory, don't go. I love you. I don't want to see you, Serena. <laughs> I'm so much about that is very interesting Sheesh. to me. What was that? I could have been hey, killed. Auntie. Get my agent on the phone now. <laughs> Clear him out, everybody. Looks like that's a wrap for today. That oh, was the cat. Give me a second. That's a wrap. Why not? Where'd she go? She left. I apologize. She'll be back. I needed to liberate my head. Oh, there we go. I see you. Back. There you are. Everyone wants to see you. Oh, come on. Hi. Nancy. Apologies. Every time I go to play the piano, she wants to be on my lap. Anytime I actually want her to be on my lap, she's like... 
<sighs> That's okay. Fucking sawed through the entire thing. Okay, yep. Okay. Already did that. This is Mystery Loves Company. Nice. I have to talk to you. No, Rory, don't go. Your time is running out, Rick Ireland. You'd better kiss your career and your life goodbye, because the end is near. Hello? Can I get out of here? Hello? There we go. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Hello? Oh. Mm hmm. Yes. Yes, definitely. Uh huh. No, trapped in the TV show forever. Hey, look. I need to find the key for this. I need to find the key for this. The wheel is stuck. Nancy is very loud compared to everything else. This craft services selection sucks. It's true. All right. Um, this game is as bad as Midnight in Salem in how you get around. Yoink. Got it. That's that all we're stealing over here? Okay. Nope, already did that. They've confiscated my pass. I guess this takes me off the case permanently. Oh, I should have been more careful. Well, better luck next time. I just hope they'll be a next time for Rick. reset it that much. I'm just gonna look at everything I just looked at. Just in case. Hydrate, you are so right. And stretch. Stretch. 
I should set the clock. I should set the clock. Right, I forgot. You're celebrating your 70th birthday next month? Oh, <laughs> you are so sassy. But that's what I love about you. You are so sassy. Here, there's nothing here, but that's fine. There's nothing here. We look at craft services. Locked. I need to find the key for this. The wheel stuck. is stuck. Veronica, you can be in the chat talking about how terrible their script writing is, and I... <laughs> I know, um, but I get mad about the, um, the lighting stuff every single time. There's literally no reason any of that should have happened. Like, it's a C-clamp. Where were their safety cables? I won't do it this time, but I will look at it. So, hmm. And I don't understand what. I thought I stole something from over here, but I don't, apparently. I love when Risa drops knowledge about C clamps. Okay, but I was uh, I was a lighting assistant for eight years. Um so there's something so deeply irritating to me when it's like not that hard to get right. I can't. Yeah, I can't look at the light itself. Okay, whatever, it's fine. Doesn't matter. No me importa. Man, did it again. Can I help you? Hello, here's my pass. Hello, Ms. Drew. Thank you. You may proceed. No, thank you. I am gonna go talk to people. What kind of studio are you running here? My client could have been killed. I told you I'd get to the bottom of this. I've already closed the set to visitors. No one tells them about me then. It's open. Oh, Nancy, this is horrible. Oh, Nancy, this, this no is horrible. It could have been an accident. I think it's another attempt to get Rick. The timing's just too weird. All of these threats, and now he's almost killed on stage. I'm too upset to deal with this. I gotta get out of here. I need some space. We'll talk later. Okay. Um, I mean, I already looked through all of this, so I'm not gonna... I don't think there's anything else to look through. Now... I already raided your stash. Oh, 
also the script in lie is not a screenplay it's a it's an actual play so it's different and it is in fact pretty bad a mask of sweet sincerity a cloak of loving kindness meant to sway the heart to trust and fill the eyes with blindness. Okay. Weird. Weird thing, but... Oh. I hate the noises this makes. This is truly cursed. Oh, I hate it. Oh, I really hate it. Okay. That's right. Those two. Oh my god, these... <laughs> when I tear up letters, I always keep the pieces and arrange them in a perfect grid. Yeah. Together. We can be together. We can make it. Disgust. This blows over. However, what needs to be done. Okay. Trust me on this. But maybe just Thank you. 
these two goes together. Oh yeah, trust me on this. We both know what needs to be done. Drastic. We can be together. Calms down. And everything calms down. We can be together. I need you. that it Woo, okay the fucking noises though Jesus Christ sorry that it has to work out like this but there is no choice at the moment you must trust me on this we both know what needs to be done and I am taking the steps however drastic to see that it is finished as we discussed I just need your support. When all this blows over and everything calms down, we can be together. Okay, ma'am. Okay, let's go get hit on by an adult. Entrevue. Entrevue. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> Where have you been all my life? Well, for a guy who just barely escaped a terrible accident, you're in an incredibly good mood. Of course, of course I am. I was lucky. If you're gonna be in an accident, that's the best way to be. Don't you agree? But then I'm always <laughs> a lucky guy. Do we <laughs> have to save him? <laughs> guys are funny. Oh my god, you guys are... Hi, Nancy! Come on up! Come on! Oh my god, you're such a little bitch. That... This bitch. Hey. Hi. Bye. Off she goes. Whoosh. <laughs> she is a very long tail. Do you really think it was just an accident? Do you really think it was just an accident? I see Maddie's been talking to you about me. Of course it was just an accident. Things like this just happen. Um... Is it lucky to receive death threats and poison chocolates? Poison chocolates? 
Oh dear, Maddie's really gone over the top with this. They were just a bad batch, that's all. Look, if you dare me, I'll eat one. But if we're gonna play that game, I'd prefer another dare. So, how about it, Nancy? Truth or dare? I'm calling the cops on you. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> okay. Truth okay. You find me irresistible, don't you, Nancy? Irresistible is not exactly the word I'd use to describe you, Rick. Oh, you're no fun. <laughs> well, mi casa es su casa. You know, my house is your house. Well, feel free to examine the evidence, Miss Drew, while I go off the wardrobe. Have a chocolate while you're at it. Stay beautiful. <laughs> I hate this man. <laughs> Rick. Die, Rick. How do I loathe thee? Let me count the ways. I loathe thee to the depth and the breadth of and height my soul can reach. I want you out of sight. For the ends of vanity and ideal conceit, I loathe thee to the level of every day's most quiet need by sun and candle flame. I loathe thee freely as you strive for fame. I loathe thee purely as you cannot turn from praise. I loathe thee with the passion to put use in my old griefs and with my childhood's faith. I loathe thee with the hate I seem to lose with my better dates. I loathe thee with the breath, smiles, tears, and all of my life. And if it comes to path, I shall only love thee well after your death. Reese, I'll save you from the bad man. Some of these things, I'm like, why did they let us look at this? There's nothing interesting here. Ow. Sorry. If you won't be mine, you won't be anybody's. Leave light of our love, or else. I'm tracking your every move. Watch out, I'm right behind you. You golf. You are so correct in that. Golf should be illegal. And I'm in it's in places where Oh my god. How he does it. A day in the life of Rick Arlen. Um you know, people should hire me to be a presenter on things. I'm just saying, you, you, what do you guys think? I should be a presenter on something? Like on one of those um, HGV, HGTV shows that are like, how, ne up next on House Flippers. You know, something like that. Their time is running out. I like how he leaves all of these out for us. That's very kind of him. Rick, do you think I'm that stupid? You send your boat to your upstate cabin? I know where that is, and I know where your Fifth Avenue penthouse is, and I even know the access code. Change it. That won't stop me, because one day I'll meet up with you. There's no escaping my wrath. I'm much nearer than you think. Hell hath no fury like Lillian Weiss scorned, I guess. That one's from Lillian, right? I don't remember. Oh look, another sink. A sink. Time to drink. How I became a star, you can too. Serena, amnesia again? 
Lul. Lul. Serena's miraculous recovery. I'm going to get you, Rick. Your days as Rory Danner are numbered. Lul. Mega stick man deodorant. <laughs> Jabon. Sorry, Jabon. Um, her interactive cup. Wow, they should make like a, a her interactive in real life. Dear Mr. Arlen, I just want to write you and tell you how much of a fan I am of yours. A fan of your impending doom. I can't wait until that fateful moment as I watch you squirm and beg for mercy. But I won't give it. You don't deserve it, you coward. And don't think I'm not serious. I'm serious enough to keep a close eye on you. How did you enjoy your meal at Blake's last night with that trashy woman from Nash Cove? You ordered a red wine with your halibut, you fool, and then fell asleep in box 42 watching Soft Shoe. The night ended with a taxi ride to your boat at, in Slip 83. Afraid that I know of your secret hideaway? Maybe one day I'll sink with you in it. It'll sink with you in it. A fanatic. Rick, your time is running out. It's me, your faithful fanatic. Or am I now a lunatic? That's what you called me yesterday with your little group of followers. It's uh, just one big joke to you, isn't it? Yes, Rick, it's a joke, and I'll be happy to deliver the punchline right in your face. What does her interactive do in the Nancy Drew game universe? That is, a, that is an excellent question. Rick's alive. Well, I mean, of course, Rick is alive. Man of the year. Ew. Aren't there other men? Scared you, didn't I? Good, because this was a dress rehearsal. Only my revenge is truly sweet, Rick Arlen. So prepare for your long and bitter end. Can't go in his closet. Ugh. Whatever. Am I able to like? Yeah. Okay. I did. I did all the stuff. Oh man, I've been here for ever. help you hi yes hi i'm a friend of maddie's and i'm do i look like a tour guide look the set's closed to visitors i'll need to take your pass away but if it's any consolation i'll be more than happy to show you the door she took my pass millie oh she's not even here I need something to make this work i need something to make this work Okay, well, I can't get out that way. I have to go out in this exit. The talent exit. Hey, taxi! Where to, lady? 7226 Lexington Avenue, please. On my way! It's locked. Pull out horoscope. I'm just saying, Matt. Technically, I can sell that on our red bubble. They're not going to do it. Okay, we already did all this.
Hi, Nancy. I'm sorry for skipping out on you like that. I guess I'm not a very good hostess. It's just that this whole thing with Rick really shook me up. I understand, but now that the studio's closed to visitors, I'm at a dead end. There's got to be a way to get you back in the studio. I'm at a dead end! Well, leaving these threats for Rick also has access to the studio. Wait a minute. I've got an idea. You know, my Sorry, agent could cracks. get you a job as an extra so you could get on the set. You don't have to do anything. They just need to have people standing by. Really? Who is your agent? Dwayne Powers. We've been friends for years. I'll give Dwayne a call first thing tomorrow. Just stop by there in the morning. I'll tell him you're an old family friend who's decided to try out acting as a career. Tomorrow? I have to go to sleep tonight? Would you do that? That'd help me get past Would you do that? And hopefully to the bottom of these threats against Rick. Yeah, I should get back to learning my lines for tomorrow. Good luck. Ma'am, it's morning. Oh, it's, it's, yeah, it's still morning. She's like, well, peace, bye. Taxi! Yeah, what's the address? Three eight. Yeah, what's West the address? Street, please. You got it. Go away. Don't you understand? Mr. Powers, Maddie Jensen sent me to see you about a job as an extra. I'm sorry. Come in. Sweep 101. Come in. Uh... It's so loud. Right, I forgot. You're celebrating your set. Come in. Come in. I'm trying. I apologize for my abrupt greeting. You must understand that if I opened my door to every struggling actor in this town, I'd never be able to get my work done. <laughs> I'm a friend of Maddie Jensen. She told me you might be able to get me a job as an extra on Light of Our Love. Ah, yes. Maddie just called me. You're Nancy Drew, am I correct? You're Maddie Nancy spoke Drew, highly of your abilities, and I am oh, more than happy to give a young actor a chance, if I can. Normally I don't do this, but seeing that you're a friend of Maddie's, I could pull some strings for you. You see, Worldwide uses me almost exclusively for hiring their talent. Not only did I provide them with Maddie Jensen, but Rick Arlen as well. You're Rick Arlen's agent? Yes, I was. But I must confess that the man has no talent. Were it not for his good looks and charm, he'd never have gotten to where he is now. He has charm? See, Rick foolishly I haven't believes seen it acting yet. acting is a status symbol, not an art form. He's a ladder climber who'll use anyone to crawl his way to the top. A ladder he's sure to fall from one of these days. Well, Nancy, you must be anxious to start this assignment. I'll call right now and have a pass waiting for you at the reception desk. Now, if you'll please excuse me, I must get back to work. It was a pleasure meeting you. Please call me for any other needs you may have. Taxi! Where can I take you today, miss? Where can I take you today, miss? Please. Can I help you? Hi, I've been hired as an extra by the Powers Agency. Here you are. You'll need to sign for it. You'll need to come to this desk every time you enter so I can log you in. Thank you and uh, good luck. Do, 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 do. It's open! Yes, my dear. 
Hi. How can I enter the prop room? I see. Well, I don't just let anyone enter my prop room without showing me that they're clever enough to take on the responsibility. Listen yes. to my riddle and when Thank you. you know the correct yes. answer, I'll let you <sighs> in. I run all day and never walk. I tell you something, but I do not talk. What am I? Is it a clock? Very good. Let's see <laughs> if you can answer one more. When you look at my face, it's easy to see. You're looking at you when you're looking at me. What am I? <laughs> oh, that was pretty easy. Let's try another one. Soft as a petal that falls from a tree. The more I dry, the wetter I'll be. What am I? That's it. I have stumped many people with my riddles, but you are quite the sleuth. You may go and enter the prop room now, while I go and unpowder my nose. <laughs> okay. I'm actually in a lot of pain, so I'm going to end the stream now. I think this is the perfect place to do that. Um, but my sh my one of my ribs is out, and my physical therapist was not able to get it back in for me. So I'm in quite a bit of pain. So I'm just going to wrap it up. That's a wrap. That's a wrap, everyone. Uh, and then we'll come back tomorrow, and we'll keep playing this. Um, and it'll be a fun time had by all. So yeah, thank you guys uh, so much for... Stopping in and playing with me. Peace out, y'all.